Welcome to Focus Labs. Today we'll be showing you an instructional video on how to take compressed air samples. When you receive your compressed air kit, it should include a calibrated timer, an SAS node, Rodak plates for sampling, connector tubing, a control valve, a flow meter, lint-free wipes, as well as gloves that can be disinfected with IPA, an SAS air sampler. Quick. as well as a quick connect piece if, if that's necessary for your testing. Be sure to handle your samples aseptically. The first step is to label your samples. Remove your samples from packaging aseptically and label with the sample ID on the base of the auger plate. So if the lid comes detached, uh, your label is still intact. Place your sample plate on top of the SAS using the brackets to hold it in place. Remove the sample lid and place the SAS nose onto the SAS air sampler. Be sure your SAS is in the off position. We should check though. Your next step is to wipe the ports of the flow meter as well as the ends of the connector tubing with a lint-free wipe that has been sprayed with some IPA. Place one end of the tubing on the uh, barbed end of the control valve. And you'll want to flush your compressed air for no less than 60 seconds by turning the red handle of the control valve to the on position. So while you're purging your air for 60 seconds, you just want to make sure that any tubing that is connected to your air system is also attached so that uh, you're purging the system for any contaminants that might be in there. After 60 seconds, turn the air off and now attach the other end of your connector tubing to the bottom port of your flow meter. You'll be sampling at a rate of 100 meters per minute. At this rate, 10 minutes of sample time will result in a cubic meter of air sample. Set your timer to 10 minutes. Now to regulate the uh, volume of air sample, slowly rotate the red handle so that the ball bearing of the flow meter reads at 100 liters per minute. Once your reading is stable, remove the tubing from the flow meter and connect it to the SAS nose and immediately start your timer. Once your time is up, you can turn the air off by rotating the red handle to the off position and disassemble your setup by taking the control or the connector tube off, removing the SAS nose, placing the lid back on your sample, and now your sample is ready to prepare for shipping. 